Hello. Welcome to One on One, a Realty One Group podcast. Uh, this is powered by One.U. We are so excited to be doing this. This is something that we wanted to do for a very, very long time. Um, and we have built our podcast studio in our beautiful hub in Laguna Niguel, California. I am joined by my partner in crime, Kathy Baker. Kathy, welcome. I am so excited to be here because I'm not always going to have this opportunity. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, yep. so a lot of times we'll be on different sides of the nation, but I'm excited to be here today to launch this. Yeah, let's uh, so let's backtrack really quick. I'm Joshua Katz. Um, I am on our marketing team. I am our content marketing manager. I'm based in Southern California. Kathy is in Raleigh, North Carolina. So the majority of these episodes will unfortunately be virtual because it's, it's, it's a bummer. I love being with Kathy in person, and right now we are in person together. Um, and so we are going to kick this off. We are also joined by our um, Chief Learning Officer, Mark Pesson. Mark, welcome. Thank you very much. Um, this is a, this is something that we have really, really wanted to do. Um, the three of us are come from um, all different sections of the company. Um, we uh, all do something completely different, but have a common ground, and um, are really excited to launch this thing. So let, let's. Let's kind of get to know each other a little bit. I mean, okay. I know we do, but for the sake of the podcast, of like, course. you know, let's, let's, let's get our viewers to know you guys. So Mark, I want to start with you. Okay. Um, tell us what you do at Realty One Group. How long have you, how long have you been here as well? Okay. So I'm the chief learning officer. Mm -hmm. I've been with Realty One Group for over 11 years now in various capacities. Um, was a realtor, branch manager, managing broker, regional manager, and now chief learning officer. And so I've, I've stepped in a lot of different people's shoes and, um, sold real estate for many, many years before that and um, have been licensed now for 24 years. And you were with us when we were in Vegas, correct? Yes. I actually joined the organization in 2010 as a realtor Okay. Um, when we were only in Vegas at the time, I believe, or maybe we were in Arizona at that point as well, uh, but still a relatively young organization. And in 2010, why did you choose Realty One Group? Um, so we were in a difficult cycle in the real estate market. We were mm -hmm. still in the recession at that point, and um, I'd been selling real estate for about 12 years at that point, and I really was looking at where my hard-earned income was going, and a huge portion of that was going to my existing brokerage. And I made the decision pretty quickly that um, I really needed to make a change. And I was looking for a brokerage where I didn't have to sacrifice support and training and resources and an experienced broker that I could lean into, mm -hmm. but I wanted to keep more of what I was earning on every transaction. And Realty One without question, checked all those boxes. It was the, it was, it was he heads and shoulders above the rest. Um, and so I made the switch. Actually, I have a, had a team of real estate agents at the time and I made the decision to leave before the rest of my team did. I actually okay. walked in to my office one day and basically said to them, I'm leaving. <laughs> um, and I walked over to Realty One Group and that was it. And I've That's never amazing. looked back and they all followed me shortly thereafter. Um, but I was the first one to make the move because I was hooked. I love it. Um, and I've been here ever since. So, okay. So then if you don't mind me asking, where were you before Realty One Group? Um, I was with Keller Williams okay. um, prior to this. I've also been with Realty Executives in Century 21. Got it. Um, Kathy, same questions. Hmm. Mark has stepped in a lot of shoes. I've stepped in a lot of other stuff in real estate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've... I've been in real estate over 30 years, a long time, and had the opportunity to serve on a lot of different levels. Started in an, an administrative level, um, went into sales for about eight years, and then went into ownership. Mm -hmm. And um, was with another brand, a big brand, for about 17, no, I'm sorry, for 22 years, had an office for 17 years. Um, left that, did a lot of independent consulting, a lot of coaching, and then was introduced to this brand and just absolutely fell in love. Yeah. Wasn't looking for it at all, which was the exciting thing. Um, but when I saw it, I knew this is the next thing for for the real estate professional. So yeah. I've been here about four years um, and just absolutely love it. And I have the opportunity to work with Mark Pesson every day, which is great. <laughs> So that's the cherry on top, right? That is the cherry. They're the cherry, the sprinkles, everything. Yeah, Kathy and I literally laugh every single every day. Single every single day. day. We crack each other up. I mean, mostly very, she, mostly she cracking, cracking me up. It, it very yes. inappropriately. Nothing yes. that we could say here. But oh, I mean, same. <laughs> we can't, we can't see my partner in crime right now, but Ryan, who I work with every day, we have the exact same relationship. So, um, and I, sometimes you don't even have to say it. You just look at each other and yes, you know what completely. it is. Yep. I, I can say from um, my perspective, I've been with Realty One Group for almost five years. It'll be five years in October. Um, 
I come from the fashion industry where I did um, marketing. I was on Nordstrom's creative team for three years um, and I did in-store marketing for them. Um, I just took an interview with Realty One Group just kind of because I wasn't really looking for anything new. This is back in the day when we had the Cube 8 offices. Yes. Um, and I interviewed with, uh, at the time, I'm sure you guys all know Juan Caicedo. He was our creative director. And I had no interest in real estate at all. But I there was this weird um, kind of like just feeling that I had walking out of that office and just seeing the brand and the potential that they had and what we were talking about. And I took a leap of faith. There's, and there's I'm an glad ener- you There's did. an energy to it. Yeah. yeah. And, and it was something that uh, I, I didn't expect. And I've, I've been here loving it ever since, you know, and it's, uh, I, I've used this phrase with you before, Kathy, but like, I've definitely drank the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's a pretty spectacular brand to work for. I, I really will admit it. It is. And I honestly don't feel like I've been to work yet. True story. I came in and did a keynote mm-hmm. um, at our base camp and they introduced me to who was the senior vice president of HR. And I didn't know that's who she was. I thought she was a broker. And after about 30 minutes, I went, wait a minute, is this an interview? And she, <laughs> yeah. And I said, can we start over? Cause I can do better. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, okay. So we, with this podcast, we, we want to keep it as uh, we all know real estate can be a boring topic, it right? Can be. I, I think we can all admit that, but we want to make this as lighthearted and easygoing as possible while still being informational and educational and fun um, and so we want to make this a, a, a nice piece of, of content that people will go to every single week. And in order to do that, they really need to get to know us. And honestly, real estate is hard. Yeah. A lot. Don't you agree, Mark? It's a lot very of, hard. A, a lot of people have the concept that, oh, it's easy. You show houses. You love people and love houses. And no, that's not what it is. And I think our goal, um, Mark, the, the goal that Mark and I have is we want professionals to continue to stay in love with the business they're mm-hmm. in. And the business beats you up. Yeah. And if you're listening, you know what we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, it is, if you're not bipolar when you get in this industry, you <laughs> will become that way because it will literally beat you every Yeah, there, there's day. a lot of highs and lows in this it, business. Oh and you gosh. really have to, you have to work to ma- re- maintain that positivity and that energy and that focus. It's not something that just happens. Man, yeah. You, you do get beat up yeah. in this business. Yeah, you drink the Kool-Aid and then you drink the tequila. That's yeah. just how it works. <laughs> Sometimes you have to mix the two. That's right. <laughs> Um, all right, I want to I want to learn a little bit more about the two of you. So I have a question, and you guys feel free to ask me the same question. Sure, um, Mark, I'm going to start with you. If you were, if someone were to describe you as an animal, what would they choose and why? Um, so I probably would be referred to as an ox. Um, I'm fairly stubborn. Um, in fact, my wife will tell you that I'm the most stubborn person on the entire planet. Mm-hmm. Um, my kids have said that to me as well. I tend to be um, somewhat rigid when I've made up my mind about certain things. Um, I think it's a good quality, but not everyone else agrees with that. You're preaching to the choir right now. Yeah, I'm yeah. the same way. So I'm, yeah. I'm pretty stubborn, so I would say an ox. I like that. Mm. Kathy, what about you? I'm a cat. I know you love cats. I do. I have two cats. Uh, yeah. um, but I, there are just so many things. I love the independence. I love that, the unpredictability. Mm-hmm. Um, Mark's, <laughs> Mark's nodding too aggressively <laughs> in agreement with this. Um, and cats cover up their own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I'm a cat. And you? Oh, um, all right, I'm... I'm a dog, but I got to get specific here okay. because because uh, I don't universally love all people. I just have to. Most dogs, you know, they're they're excited to meet yes. someone new, and so I feel like I'm a dog that's very loyal to his owner and his people, but isn't too fond of of the rest of. So the, what what breed? What kind of dog? Um, well, I have an Australian Shepherd right now, so it'd be hard for me to not say an Australian Shepherd. But I also love Goldens. Um, I yeah, I mean, I I love dogs more than human beings. I hate, mm-hmm. I hate except for mm-hmm. you too. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I would say a dog. I, um, I'm calm, but can have energy when I need to be. Um, I definitely love a routine. Um, and I'm very loyal to, to my people. So yeah, I would say a dog. 
So what you're saying is we've got a dog and a cat hosting this thing. That's correct. So <laughs> this uh, it'll and, work. And dogs and cats can be friends. It they can, they be. can yes. be. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we'll 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 see what happens. You guys are all in for a treat. I think it'll be perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's been an incredible experience. Like uh, I know Kathy and I, we have this conversation all the time. Um, no matter what your role is at this company, everyone is approachable. Absolutely. Um, you know, I can I can text Cuba if I wanted to, if I really needed to get an answer on something. Um, you, you know, you and I have a great relationship, and I think that that's something that um, really needs to be said that is different from a lot of other brands in this industry. Completely agree. Um, it's actually pretty special. It is. Um, and I think a lot of our customers recognize and experience that as well, mm-hmm. is that they feel very comfortable reaching out to any one of us at any time with whatever their challenges are. Yeah. We're all here for them. And so, and that's... Uh, you know, the, I think a, a really good transition into um, into one universe into one dot you. So one university, which our nickname is one dot you, um, which is our learning management platform, and it is what is powering this podcast. Right? Um, it is kind of what started waking up to win. Um, it was where a lot of the content came from when we initially did the one on one newsletter. Yep. Um, and it is something that I think really makes us stand out from the pack in this industry. Um, I know I can give a surface level. Um, overview of what it is but you guys are the ones that really have spearheaded this whole thing so give us a bird's eye view of of one dot you um what it is how it's different sure um so one university is really all encompassing i mean we talk about our learning management system which is really kind of the nuts and bolts the back end of how we manage a lot of our education and coaching mm-hmm. and training but one dot you really is all encompassing of all the coaching all the training all the resources that we provide to our franchise owners to our real estate professionals to our staff members Everyone has a place, and we believe very firmly that coaching is critical to an individual's success, especially in real estate. And so those of us that have experienced coaching or have delivered coaching for many years really see the value in that. And we want to make sure that we provide that to our real estate professionals, who are ultimately our customers, and to our franchise owners, because they're the ones out in the field. They're the ones servicing the buyers and sellers, and we want to make sure that we're teaching them best practices and tools and systems and processes to be as successful and achieve their ultimate goals. Yeah. Um, I know we, you have said this to me in the past. Um, well, let's, let's start with this, right? Our, our agents are, are looking to, to make money. Let, let's just be, Certainly. you know, let's yeah. say it like it is. Um, so for us on, on the, doing the behind the scenes work, we, that, that needs to be one of our main focuses. And I know, Mark, you've said to me that learning-based professionals are the most dominant in their market. No question. And so um, how is one dot you like, how can that benefit an agent, whether he or she is two days on the job or they're 40 years on the job? Like what, what is one dot you doing for, for that agent? So I think the challenge that most real estate professionals have in our, in really in any time frame, and it doesn't matter what's going on with the market, is understanding how to survive and thrive in the real estate industry. Because real estate, real estate schools do a great job of teaching real estate agents how to pass the real estate exam and get licensed, mm-hmm. but they don't teach them anything about how to survive and thrive in the real estate industry and in the business itself. And we believe that our job as a real estate brokerage um, and franchise is to teach real estate professionals how to do that, how to be successful. A lot of that just comes down to fundamentals and then more advanced strategies as they improve their skill set. But mm-hmm. they have to be taught how to do this business to be successful in it. Every one of us had to be taught this business at some stage of the game. It's the same for our franchise owners. Sure, Most of our franchise owners are learning to become brokerage managers and brokerage operators. And so we have to teach them that process. And the more they engage and the more they participate in the coaching and training, the more successful they become. Yeah. And honestly, Josh, we talk a lot about story brand. Yeah. You and I do. And this is truly story brand. It is the tool or the vehicle that we can identify the hero, whether it be the affiliate or the sales professional, and identify what their problem is, what their need is on whatever level, on any level regardless of their experience yeah. and then navigate them through it. And that's what I think today's professional needs more than ever because the market is constantly changing right, and it's right. not what's happening now. It's what's coming next. And we say very lovingly that a great market creates bad habits. Mm. So what one dot you does is regardless of your level of expertise, you can go back and become fundamentally sound or you can choose a development path to take you to that next level. But it is that plan When we talk about being the hero and developing that, identify the need, then the one dot you is the plan to take them where they need to go. And uh, Kathy, I know you come from Remax. Mm -hmm. Have you 
seen anything like this at Remax or at other uh, some of some of our other competitors? Um, I've had the opportunity to work with several different brands, and they may have the tool. But I think the difference is the engagement and the adoption yeah. because you can offer all kinds of things. But I think one thing that we do that really sets us apart is our entire team has real estate experience. Mm-hmm. So we've actually been, including Mark and myself, we've been in the chair of the of the realtor. So we are able to engage them and make sure that they participate at a, at a higher level. Yeah. So I, I think as much as the tool, it's... It's that navigator, mm-hmm. and I think that's probably what we do better than any other brand that I've worked with. And um, uh, Mark, like let's let's move into the not necessarily the interface, but but why? Like I, I've you know I've, I've obviously seen the interface of One.U. It's so simple, it's so yes. easy, it is so user friendly for someone who doesn't understand technology, doesn't understand any of this, or for someone who is very tech savvy. And I know that that, it sounds small, but I think that that is such a difference maker that we have created this 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 system, this platform that um, is just so accessible. Yeah, I think that was a cr- critical component. When Kathy and I started researching different platforms mm-hmm. and systems, our end goal was adoption. Mm-hmm. Really, it was critical that we made sure that the adoption was high. And so we went and we vetted systems and we evaluated platforms. We really look at, were looking for user friendliness. Yeah. And what we did is we selected a system that we felt checked all those boxes that we felt was important for the end user. But then we also then worked internally with our own developers to make sure that it was um, easy to navigate and easy to access information and keyword searches and mobile friendly and all the things that our end user really needs to access the platform because we want to reduce all the barriers to entry and just make sure that people jump in totally both feet and start learning. And I think it's a, the other thing that I love, I mean, look at this podcast is a perfect example is we are trying to create as many forms of content as possible because everybody learns differently, right? That's right. Um, Some people may learn from audio. Some people may learn from video. Some people may learn from just downloading worksheets and, and, you know, doing it the old fashioned way. And I think we, we have all of those, those forms of content and, and we're only continuing to grow. Which, um, which I think is pretty spectacular. I mean, this is a complete side note and we can have an episode about this at another time. But, uh, you know, Corey, my boss, our CMO, um, wants me to get my license, you know, mm-hmm. to learn more about the industry. And it's something that w- the, my first thought was like, I'll go to one dot you. And that's, Absolutely. that's exactly where I can start. Well, and, and we know a couple of good brokers. Yeah. Can probably do some <laughs> yeah. Training as well. Yeah, totally. Um, so, all right, let's like, we've, we've learned a little bit about one dot you, um, I, I'm encouraging everyone who is listening, um, if you are part of our network, you have immediate access to it. And if you haven't checked it out, like, please, please, please check it out because it's a, a wonderful platform. Um, but I know we've had some success stories from from different professionals within the network. I mean, I don't want to, um, I'm sure we could we could beat this to death, but like, can you maybe talk about one or two that stick out in your guys' mind of agents, brokers, someone who has, you know, grown their business by using 1.U? I think one thing, Mark, that we could talk about is the fact that each affiliate has their own channel, mm-hmm. if you That's will, right. or their I was own just domain. Say that. And um, so they have the ability to go in and load their own content. So not only do you have this global perspective and this national perspective, but we can put it on a very local level yeah. and then make it so relative to the market that they're in. Because it's like you said, Mark, you can get your real estate license, but that really just tells you how to pass the test. Right. What you have to know is how do I make it work in my market? Mm-hmm. You know, how do I take, how do I sharpen the saw to make it work here? And that's one thing that it's doing. And we've got lots of offices that have done that, that have loaded their own content and they're having tremendous success. Honestly, and, you know, a lot of stats are made up, so some of this may be yeah. made up, but not much of it. <laughs> um, but we really flip, and one dot you is, is a great vehicle that's created this change. Statistically, the National Association of Realtors, there's about an 80% churn, meaning that eight out of every 10 people that get their license do not stay in the business. Mm. Typically within those Typically first two years. Typically for those first two years. Yeah. What happens, the combination of our content, rev up for new agents, combined with the expertise of the local mentor or yeah. coach combined with the platform is really flipping that on its on its head so we're having more of like a 70 percent success rate versus a 80 percent churn rate and it's expensive to get in real estate not only the time investment yeah. um and what we're seeing too is a lot of co-career mm-hmm. and we're super excited about that yeah and i think uh um 
Well, there's two, two things I want to break down from what you just said. So you're saying 80% of uh, people who enter the industry last about two years. Is that because that they're not producing? Is that the main well, reason? Yeah, I mean, it's number one, I think that they're they're not getting into a production level where they can survive in the business. Sure. But a lot of that has to do with the lack of training. That right. They're, they're just not receiving. Right. No one's teaching them how to survive in this business. Right. So you get your license and then you put your two feet on the ground and it's like, okay, what's next? You're basically on your own. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's, I mean, that's the beauty of 1.U, right? You've got to learn to hunt. Right. Business is not just going to fall in your lap. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people have the perspective that, well, real estate is easy. I'll mm-hmm. go and do that. And it's not. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, uh, well, I've. I've been with the company for, it'll be five years in October. Um, my background is actually in the fashion industry, um, but I've been doing marketing for the last decade. Um, and so when I entered the, the real estate industry, so to speak, even though I'm on the behind the scenes sort of thing, um, I, I didn't, didn't know what to expect. It's definitely, um, it's its own animal for sure. Um, agents are, they, they have to be hungry as an independent contractor. Mm-hmm. You have, your paycheck's not guaranteed. That's right. Um, and so I think having a, a resource like 1.U is, uh, you know, you're not, you're not entering the jungle without a weapon at that point. That's right. Um, and I think that that's, that's huge. I, I really well do. Well said. Yeah. And, well and if said. I can just add on to one thing that Kathy said as far as success stories, one of the things that we're very proud of, and I think it was – somewhat accidental success because mm-hmm. obviously nobody planned on the pandemic. Mm-hmm. But one of the things that our brokers really took advantage of through the pandemic was virtual training. Yeah, And so many of our franchise owners did a lot of Zoom classes. So the rev up classes that we offer that we provide to our franchise owners for new licensees or for agents that are looking to establish those fundamentals, yeah. they started teaching them on Zoom and then hosting that training within our learning platform yep. so that more of their network could experience the training and still stay engaged and still participate in the coaching that they needed to not only survive the pandemic, but actually thrive in it. And I think that real estate as a whole has done exceptionally well through the pandemic and probably saved our economy to a certain extent. 100. I completely agree. And the timing, we launched 1.U in November or December of 2019. Yeah. Pandemic was March, and immediately Cuba said, open up 1.U to everyone. That's right. And so Waking Up to Win was born, wakingupto.win.com, and we were able to invite people in, mm-hmm. everybody, and every brand was welcome and still are, to just, you know, scratch and sniff and take advantage and learn. Yep. And I think, uh, you know, there's, there's, there is a, a silver lining um, to the pandemic, and uh, I mean, I... I Let's let's st- take a step back. The pandemic was terrible. I you know it was terrible. Yeah. But we our us as a brand, we f- we found silver linings, and one of them was creating all of this virtual content that then our network and people outside of our network got used to, right? And we now are sitting here doing this podcast, and it's and it's now an educational podcast where um, our network and then the people that listen to it outside of our network they're they're used to it. They're going to be listening to this when they're driving or when they're at the gym or sitting at their desk or whatever. And that's what we, that's, we, we almost trained them with waking up to win and with our agent town halls. Um, and now we're, we're just able to run with it. Yeah. Um, and I think it's so true. Yeah. And and I think it was out of necessity Mm -hmm. that everyone had to adapt and real estate agents as a rule are tend to be highly adaptable. Yep. Um, because you have to be in this industry. And so, they adapted well to the changes. And even now, like, you know, one of the things that we offer, we offered early in the pandemic and we still continue to offer is free access to our learning platform. Right. So anyone, regardless of where you hang your hat, you can still access our learning channel and we offer free guest passes and we want people to experience the training because we believe in the abundance mindset and we want to offer training and resources to the industry as a whole, yeah. um, regardless of whether you become part of the one family. Well, and, and you know, there's, there's a level of... Uh, you know, obviously recruiting and retention within this brand. And I mean, I, I know we're all, we're, we're all thinking it without saying it, but when you offer that to everyone else, if you're an agent at Remax, you're an agent at Keller or whatever, and you take five minutes to go look through one dot you, you might think differently about the breakage that you're currently at. Certainly. Um, and I think that it's a, it's a huge selling point for our brand. And more importantly, we want to better the industry. Yeah. So even if you don't have access to that kind of platform, if you're with a smaller organization and you don't have education as an opportunity, please just visit. Yeah. Because it's going to better the industry and the experience for the consumer. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, I think uh, it's exciting. Um, I, 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 yeah, it's exciting to see it grow. I've seen um, it, it grow so much in the last two, three years. I mean, even in the midst of we weren't sure 
what was going to happen, what was the state of the world, what was the state of the industry. We kind of just like kept our heads down and kept moving forward. And it's really blossomed into something really special. Yeah, I agree. Um, and I think now, Josh, I, I think we would be remiss if we didn't say the uncertainty of what the market is is providing now. Um I've been in enough cycles, Mark, that I see it as opportunity. Mm -hmm. I don't fear change in the market. It is truly opportunity because the people that know um, know the industry will thrive. Mm -hmm. We'll have a lot of people get out. That's okay. The, the part-timers and the hobbyists will, will step back. Yeah. And it's going to be a huge opportunity for those who are willing to invest in themselves and in the industry. Mm -hmm. And they will flourish. Yeah, I, uh, I think... An it, to talk about Realty One Group as a whole, um, Kathy, you and I have talked about this before. I think one word to describe us as a brand is adaptability. Mm -hmm. um, we, I mean, this company was founded in 2005 and the market crashed two and a half years later mm -hmm. and, and, fi and, and figured it out. You know, then, not, not only figured it out, but we actually exploded with growth during the recession. Right. And, and then we did the same thing during the pandemic. That's right. And, and so it's, uh, you know, change is, is, is not feared at this company. It's almost embraced. Um, and so when the market is just this ever, ever, ever changing thing, right. we're fine. You know, it's, it's, uh, I, I think I use the, I, I know I've used the phrase, phrase with you. Like there's a soccer phrase. You have to have your head on a swivel and that's Realty One Group in a nutshell. We're just constantly making sure, seeing what's changing, seeing what's going on, and then adapting and hitting the ground. That combined, and we've talked about this before, Josh, we are the remix. Yeah. We oh, yeah. are, you know, the yeah. ability for um, the older people in mm -hmm. the industry, and I don't mean necessarily age, but experience. Experience, To be able yeah. to pour into um, the younger generation. And I think that's that's our secret sauce. Well, I mean, I, I think it's, it's something that, should be noted because there are so many agents right now and consumers that are operating from a place of fear and anxiety because yeah. they don't know what's coming. They know change is coming and they don't necessarily know how to plan or, or prepare for it or what to do to survive it. And because so many of us have been through cycles before and have experienced it, we know that there's a light at the end of that tunnel. We also know how to navigate our way to it. Mm -hmm. And we are committed to coaching our entire network through this next down cycle because we know what to expect. We know what to do. We know what tactics to take. And we're prepared to um, excel in that process. And as an organization, we're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to um, coach. We're going to continue to train and support individuals. And our consumers, our buyers and sellers, will be the benefactors right. of that training and coaching that we provide. Yeah. Um, you, you, you both mentioned uh, mentorship, which I know is a, a large part of our education and training mm -hmm. at this company. Um, can you guys kind of just touch upon maybe, you know, let's use me as an example. If I become a new agent, um, I just got my license and I decide to work with Realty One Group. Um, talk to me about what would mentorship look like? Do am I, is that something I could go through one.u? Is it something I go to my broker? Uh, like give me the, the, the 411. Yeah, on it's, it's really all of the above. And mm -hmm. so we're very proud of the fact that we have a great mentoring program for newer licensees mm -hmm. or inexperienced agents. And so it, there's a few different aspects of that, but every new licensee that comes into Realty One Group is entered into a mentoring program. A component of that is that they go through our RevUp training, which is our new agent training program. Mm -hmm. There's 12 modules there designed to teach a real estate agent how to implement all the fundamental practices to become independently successful real estate professionals. In addition to that, they also have one-on-one -on -one coaching with a mentor, an experienced mentor, whether that's their broker owner or an assigned mentor coach mm -hmm. in their offices those mentors are able to piggyback on the rev up training and implement the processes and the systems so that that agent is never on their own. They're never trying to figure it out on their own. And in most cases, our mentors are literally standing side by side with those real estate agents, right. teaching them how to work with a buyer, how to work with a seller, how to do a listing presentation, how to write a purchase contract that will get accepted, um, how to do a successful open house, the things that agents need to know how to do to actually make a living in this business. And you made a comment earlier about that, Real estate agents, ultimately, it's about making money, mm -hmm. and we firmly believe that, but we also take it a step further that we believe that it's about what that money will do for them, for the sure. quality of their lives, yeah. um, for their families, and so we believe that we're making an investment in that individual's future, um, and so we're very dedicated to that mentoring program because we believe that it's critical for an agent's success. And the, the rest of that story is the combination of right now the millennials, which I love, yep. the X and Ys, Thanks, getting Kathy. in, yeah, getting, 
you know I love you, um, <laughs> getting into the real estate industry. And you're so coachable yeah. because you are a coached generation. Yeah. Where, and we've talked about this where – I may have taken piano or I may have taken dance, but kids today take tap yeah. and toe. And it's a very specialized coaching. And the ability for us to provide that one-on-one -on -one coaching at a very specific, um, detailed level and the coachability of the, the next generation of leaders in real estate is the perfect combination. That's the perfect remix of yeah. you're, you're ready to be poured into and we, you know, our systems feed that. I, I think... I mean, from what it sounds like to me, with 1.U, we are trying to break the mold of that 80% mark that you guys are saying. We're committed to it. Yeah. 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 We're completely, we're 100% committed to breaking that mold. Yeah. And we've seen that through the agents that go through our mentoring and our coaching and our one university, mm -hmm. their success level, like success level is significantly higher than the average real estate professional. So that uh, that's a perfect. So my next question, like what is our adoption rate looking like with 1.U? Are we, are, are most of our agents using it? Are we finding that their um, business is, is changing pretty quickly after they use it? Uh, like what, what are we looking at here? Yeah, I mean, I think we've had a great success rate with the program so far. I mean, in the first year that we rolled it out, we had over 10,000 courses completed within yeah. the platform. So the adoption out of the gate was very high. Our job now is to continue to enhance the program, add more content, mm -hmm. um, push the mobile application because we believe that most of our consumers now really want to consume that information mobile on a mobile first. device or mm -hmm. mobile platform. Yeah. And so we've got a heavy push to make sure that that adoption continues to increase. But it's really on us as the developers and the creators and the professors of one university to continue to develop content and programs that benefit our real estate professionals yep. and our franchise owners so that it's relevant to their current challenges. Yeah. And we have the ability to assign content. So if you come to me as a new agent and you need help with negotiation skills, I would be able to assign as in, in addition to working one-on-one -on -one with you hand in hand with mm -hmm. you, we would have the ability to assign content to you. And then have that big brother view of, Josh, are you doing what you need to be doing? Right. So that makes it uh, very easy for the broker and the manager mm -hmm. to, to really, like, build their team and make That's sure. Right. Yeah. Um, so what do you guys think is next for 1.U? So, I don't mean to put you on the spot. No, I mean, <laughs> we're actually excited about it because Kathy and I are constantly, our wheels are always turning about mm -hmm. what we're going to do next. We're currently developing a couple of programs um, with the real estate professional in mind, um, one of them is a program called Team Up, which mm -hmm. is going to be geared towards teaching agents how to form successful teams um, in their marketplaces. And it's really our goal is to teach the broker owners and the managers in those offices to be the coaches, the certified coaches, to develop and offer that program in their offices. Right. Um, and then coming behind that, we have a program called Level Up, which is truly an agent coaching program. Mm -hmm. um, so agents will now have the opportunity to be coached within Realty One Group by a Realty One Group professional that's certified and trained under the Level Up Coaching Program. And there will be a whole series of processes and advanced strategies that they'll be able to implement in their businesses to become even more successful than they currently are. So that would be the next level of coaching and training after they complete the Rev Up series. And that coupled with accountability. Yeah. Accountability around all of that. And then our next hope, and Mark will be upset for me saying this, but it's the, what's on the the plan next, which is one that I'm probably most passionate about is a legacy plan mm -hmm. to be able to take the aging realtor who either wants to relocate or just get out of the business or retire or whatever that looks like and package their book of business and sell it to the millennial. Oh, that's interesting. I yeah. like that a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. Because I, you guys don't have the patience to. No, I mean, you don't. I'll I mean, be the first to admit yeah, it. Yeah, you don't have the patience to build that book of business Agreed. and to be able to package it and get it in a marketable mm -hmm. format and transfer it is what our goal is so that we maintain market share. Um, the realtor has an exit strategy and the millennial gets, you know, comes out of the gate really strong right. and really fast with a book of business. Well, and unfortunately, so many real estate professionals that are nearing the end of their career when you ask them what they plan to do with their business, they don't really have a plan. They mm -hmm. just say that they're just going to stop working. They're going to mm -hmm. walk away. They're just going to walk away. And so they have years of time invested in relationships that they've built and a huge referral business that they've created for themselves that they could turn over and, and market and sell to or transition to another real estate professional that's up and coming into the business as an asset that's a valued asset and yeah. they're just not taking advantage of that opportunity. Which is so much more efficient and effective and affordable than buying leads. Yeah. 
you know, if you can if you can transfer that relationship versus buying leads, it's a win-win. Well, I mean, the first thing I think of, and this could be a, a stretch, but, uh, you know, think of like a professional basketball team, a professional soccer team, and there's a, a veteran player that's been in their, they're in their 15th or 16th season, and they could retire, but they want to keep them on for one more season because of their experience, because of their leadership, because of the things that they can bring to the younger players. Um, and no, they may not have the stamina that they once had at the beginning of their career, but their experience is, is, you know, it's invaluable. It's invaluable. Thank you. Right. Um, and so I think that that's, that's really cool that that's what we're pushing towards. Yeah, so that's Um, the next. I mean, if you think of it like a, almost like a a doctor's office, that's a doctor's retiring Mm -hmm. from the business, there's a new doctor coming into the industry that could come and buy his client base, his client, you know, his, his clientele. Yeah. Um, that's what we're looking to facilitate for our real estate professionals. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I that I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that we get that going very, very quickly. Um, the one thing that keeps sticking out in my mind, and this is something that was said to me when I first started at Realty One Group, um, and it's also for uh, for me and and my team and what we do, um, it's the concept of being your own boss, right? Mm-hmm. So, like for example, I oversee all content that our company pushes out. And when I first started, we were, for example, let's use recruiting emails. We were taking recruiting emails and we were sending them to these giant opted in lists and weren't really getting anything back from it. And we had to do it because you have to send out emails. But then we took a step back, brought the digital team in and we started strategizing. We were like, you know what? Let's build these emails. Let's take the HTML and let's send it to our broker owners and let them take those emails and do what they want with them in their own local market. And we're, and we're giving them the assets that they need, but they are their own boss at that point. They are That's doing right. their own recruiting. Um, and we've seen that it's it, it's wildly more successful than the old way that we were doing it. Yeah, I mean, I think the difference for, for the success rate that you've seen is because you made it a local level mm-hmm. um, operation. And so we can send it from a global perspective and they can see it coming out from Irvine, California, or they can see it coming from their local neighborhood and from a broker that they recognize. Right. And I think that that's why you're seeing a higher success rate is because we localized the content. It's still our content that mm-hmm. we produce for them, but they're now in control of it and they're actually the drivers. And I think that's why you're seeing a much higher adoption rate. And, but it's we could say the same about 1.U, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and the key to that is there's a lot of ro- responsibility with being an independent contractor. Yeah. I mean, it's like when I always say, um, when people step out of corporate America and come into real estate, it's like when you first go to college. Yeah. Nobody gets you out of bed. Yeah. Nobody says you need to go to class. Right. I know that and, all too well. <laughs> yeah. And, but, but you can look good and smell good all day long, yeah. but until you're willing to get out there and work, you're not going to make money. Yeah. And that's what this platform does. It gives you the opportunity to learn the way you want to learn. It gives you the opportunity to be held accountable. It gives you the opportunity to be coached um, on whatever development path you want to be on. So that's the key to it, is that accountability around, yes, you need to be independent, and yes, you can make your own decisions, but you still have to do, you still got to do the homework. Yeah. You're not going to get the extra credit if you don't do the homework. Yeah, and I think to, to be a successful agent, you, you just have to be an accountable person, mm-hmm. right? You do. Mm-hmm. And you do. so we built this platform um, where... If you, if you just have the slightest bit of accountability and then you start rolling with 1.U, like you're you're creating a recipe for success. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, it's the reason that most successful people in the world, whatever the field they're in, whether it's sports or business um, or politics, whatever it may be, the ones that have an accountability partner or a coach, if you will, tend mm-hmm. to be much more successful because there's someone looking over their shoulder that's making sure they're doing what they said they were going to do and probably giving them a little bit of a kick in the pants at the yeah. same time. yeah. Um, I mean, we, we could have 10, 12, 15, 16 episodes dedicated to 1.U and I'm sure we will in the future as we continue to grow it and as it transforms and, and just continues to bring success to so many people's businesses. Um, unfortunately we are almost out of time for today. Um, but I really want to thank Mark for joining Kathy and I, um, I, I hope to have you back on as many times as possible. I always enjoy talking with you. Um, hopefully our next episode is about Marvel or Star Wars or something amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. The important uh, stuff. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, but yeah, thank you both for joining me. Um, guys, tune in every single week. We will have a new episode. Um, and for, yeah, for please email us at learning at realty one group.com. We want to hear what you want to hear, what you want us to talk about. Um, what's, what's, you know, what's itching, what, what is it going to be for us next? Um, 
Yeah, that, that's it. Thank and you so much, if guys. If I can just say yeah. a quick thank you to you and Kathy. Um, I'm so pleased that you guys put this together. Um, this has been um, a passion for a long time. Yeah. And I'm so pleased to see this come to life because I think it's a huge opportunity for us to reach a larger audience. I, I agree. And I, I appreciate you saying that, Mark. I think uh, I mean, for, for those that don't know, Mark and I have known each other for quite some time and we really wanted to do something like this. And we, we tried many years ago and um, it wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right timing. And, and now we're, we've hit the ground running and we're, we're so excited. We've, we've built this, this network of followers through waking up to win and through our one-on-one newsletter. And we are now morphing it into this podcast form and we are so excited for it's, what's to it's come. It's awesome. I can't yeah. wait to see where it goes. And we're discovering a rock star in the process. Oh, let's, let, you... let's hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks guys. Thanks for joining me. Thank you so much. Thanks. We thank you for joining us today on another episode of One on One, a Realty One Group podcast. We are powered by One.U and ask if you have suggestions, recommendations, or questions, please email learning at realtyonegroup.com. And remember, pay close attention to the details, listen to understand, not respond, and always be a resource, not a sales pitch. Mm-hmm.